Another movie I watched over Thanksgiving break actually with the family is Nope. And I have been anticipating Nope for a long time, like since it was in theaters. I think I even tried to take take the kids to go see it, but they just weren't that interested. And when I say the kids, I ain't got no kids, but I got hella cousins and baby sisters. So when a good movie come out, like I, I bring the whole tribe, we get the deep box seats, we just be in that movie, you know, watch the movie as it should be. But when I wanted to take them to see Nope, they weren't really that excited. So, um, and I'm over the days where I go to the movies by myself, cause Lord knows a few years ago, I used to hit that matinee dolo. Like it was assigned to me by Jesus himself, but I don't do that no more. Um, so I waited for for dope for for nope. Oh, dope is another good movie though. I actually watched that one in Thailand. Okay, that might be the next the next one. But anyway, nope uh, is streaming on Peacock now, and I watched it the day before Thanksgiving or maybe the night of. Not one of those with the fam. One of my cousins had already seen it, um, so she fell asleep on it. But like, nope. First of all, I feel like. And I hope this is the right way, but like the title in itself was a juxtaposition because like nope is not what they like that was not really their genuine reaction. They saw some weird stuff going on in the sky and they weren't like nope. They were like, ooh, like we can get some money. If we can get this on film, then we can be rich forever. So they was like trying to chase what they saw in the sky, trying to film it from every angle, using every resources they had, you know, um, recruiting other people to try to get this on film. So it was like, I think the whole title was a scam, but overall it was an interesting movie. Um, like y'all know I'm into sci-fi, so I'll give it like a six out of 10. Like, I just rated The White Lotus season one 7 out of 10, and I'm wondering if it deserved a better rating. If anything, I would drop The White Lotus season one rating. Um, but it was just like, so the title was a scam, and it was just like, the best part about it was that main actor and Kiki Palmer character was fun, I think. She overdid it a little bit, like, I don't know, like, Kiki Palmer is a great actress, but I understand why she's where she's at right now and not further. I don't think it's due to skin complexion. Um, we just not, like, as a, as a general audience, it's just not ready for her yet. Like, Kiki Palmer is dope. I love her, but, um, yeah, like, and she don't do stuff for that masses. Like, she do stuff... For the ones looking up to her and i respect her for that so her character was very kiki palmer put it like that um but basically her and her brother's character own this horse farm which i guess gets most of his money by like renting out these horses to the hollywood films and stuff and they see something real strange out in a ranch one night and um after they realize it's reoccurring and that it might actually have some extraterrestrial you know connections they try to capture um the phenomena on film and they take a lot of risks to do that and um it was definitely a great mystery it, it did have me like I, I didn't fall asleep on it like i had to know how it ended and the ending i think it had like the perfect ending honestly um but it was just like yeah they chasing a strange thing in the sky and um, it was strange. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Uh, it was a decent movie, definitely watch it. It's not something I would watch again by any means, um, but it was cool, it was cool. I'm proud of Jordan Peele. It's definitely got his uh, aesthetic attached to it. So, um, nope, again, I think I, I may have already said it, but just in case I didn't, it's on Peacock streaming free right now. I will give it a 6.8 out of 10, okay? I'll give it a 6.8. And again, if you ain't seen it, you should tap in because it's definitely worth at least one watch.